This is Daniel Hutchins, and today we're going to be doing an article from our friends Screen Rant. So today from Screen Rant, we are going to be talking about Star Wars. Yep, so Star Wars highlights a Naboo connection in The Force Awakens. The latest Star Wars novel reveals a secret connection between Star Wars The Force Awakens and the prequel trilogy. And Padme's home world, Naboo. Now this was eight hours ago. Okay. Star Wars has highlighted subtle connection between Lord Son Taka and Force Awakens and the prequel trilogy, The Planet of Naboo. When the sequel trilogy began, viewers were introduced to a galaxy where history seemed to have repeated itself. The First Order had emerged as a new version of the Empire, and the Jedi had fallen once again. But there was still hope, as the Rebel Alliance and the First Order raced to piece together a map that would take them to the legendary Luke Skywalker, who had vanished into the depths of the Unknown Regions. One fragment of that map was kept by Lord St. Taka, a member of an order known as the Church of the Force. Lucasfilm's Star Wars The High Republic Transmedia Initiative has revealed the history of the San Taka clan as wealthy hyperspace prospectors. Described as rough-edged people finding routes through wild spaces of galaxy, like planetary explorers searching for passes through deadly mountain ranges, the Santaka clan kept many of their most prized routes to themselves, ensuring that they could travel through hyperspace at greater speed than their competitors. It makes sense for a descendant of the Santakas that possess maps of the unknown regions that nobody else had access to. Related to this article is the Star Wars sequel's new ships show the problem with Disney's trilogy. But we're not talking about that, we're talking about something else. So Justina Ireland's latest Star Wars novel, Out of the Shadows, adds another element to the story. It seems the Church of the Force is older than anybody had guessed. In fact, they were particularly influential on the planet Naboo. The Church of the Force seems to have been very different to the Jedi in the Sith, in that it has encouraged non-Force sensitives to join in lone secrets of the Force, seeking to play their part in the balance of the Force. This is fascinating new twist to Star Wars lore because it raises the possibility some of Naboo's traditions venerated the Force. Thus, while Queen Padme Amidala may not have possessed the power of the Force herself, she may well have been schooled in philosophies that were inherently tied to the light side of the Force. Perhaps Padme and Anakin had more in common than viewers had thought. Tie-ins from the comics have confirmed the Church of the Force believed the Jedi played a crucial role in the balance of the Force. This, then, is the principal reason why Lor Santaka helped the Resistance by helping them find Luke Skywalker on the distant world of Ato. Because as a member of the Church of the Force, he believed only the Jedi could restore the light to the galaxy. It's ironic that Lord Santaka's faith flourished on Naboo, adding another generational aspect to the Star Wars saga but there is the sense in which Luke Skywalker's return 
was another legacy of his mother's homeworld. So there you go guys, that is just some information about some Star Wars stuff. And if you guys like this content, please hit that thumbs up button to let me know you like. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your night. I might be doing another video, but I'm not sure yet. I just, you just have to kind of wait and see. And so I'll see you for the next one. Bye.